Fly FM. Hey guys, what's up? It's a Fly FM squad, and welcome back to another episode of Fly vs. the Internet, where we try to take up a challenge of what's going on viral right now online and do it lah. Okay, now today we are testing our knowledge on Malaysian road signs. Oh. So, Ardi, uh, you are basically the oldest among all of us. How long have you been driving? <laughs> For a long time, how about that, okay? <laughs> a fun fact, I got into an accident the day after I got my driver's license. So I don't oh, think, like... I don't think this is the challenge for me, but we'll see. I mean, my answer is the left lane is gonna merge into the main. So be careful because, you know, this car is gonna be coming from the front, on the left. That's my answer. I, I'm gonna say it's like merging, yeah, it's incoming traffic from the left lane into the main lane. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's so obvious. It's basically a lane that's coming in from the left and it's merging to the main road. Usually they do this from highways or into flyovers, so watch out for cars on the left. Literally, la yeah, like left lane going to the main road, watch out for the cars coming from the left. Okay, I really did not know that, to be honest. <laughs> Oh wait, but, really? No, yeah, I didn't. So wait, wait, wait. So I know you said that uh, because I'm the oldest, that means I got the most experience. But Anne is the youngest, and she is the one closest to taking that test. So it's the merging of the lane onto the main road, correct? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! So this is um, beware that there's maybe a cliff or a hill in front that has rocks falling. So just beware. Okay. Yo, I don't know this one. Huh. I so wanna say it's me pooping in the morning. A lot of people will be scared here. But it's like basically just uh What's not clicking? What's not clicking? Landslide. You have to uh and like be careful for landslide. Yeah. Okay. This looks like when um, you're driving by a very hilly place and there are chances of landslide or like rocks falling off so be careful of landslide i'm gonna go with that answer okay Ili, you're next uh it's either like from the like from like a mountain on the side like something from the side like things might fall so be careful like when you're driving, because like things might fall on you. My answer is, you see this on Genting. On the road to Genting, you'll see this thing over here, which means like, be cautious because there might be falling boulders. Sam, I'm playing the game. Okay, my... Okay, because it's mandatory. Okay, yes, there is a right lane turning coming up. And I'm going to say it's mandatory because like, if you want to turn right at the front, you cannot because there's probably no right lane. So if you want to turn, you got to turn now. Mm. That's why it's mandatory. I hope I'm right. Okay. And what was that? <laughs> I think it's that you can only go straight and right. There's no left turn. This is the signboards where if there's a fellow on your left and if you're going straight and you see the signboard, right? And if he turns left from your right, if he bangs into you, he will pay to someone and he'll pay for you. Because this is a road that says that this is a lane you can turn right and go straight at the same time. But if anyone else does it, finish. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this sign in my life. But I'm gonna say, if you're on the right lane, you have to turn right, you can't go straight. But if you're on the left lane, you can't turn right, you have to go straight. I feel like I've seen this before. Yes, I have, right? So, so is okay. So there's two arrows pointing in two directions. So that means you can only go straight or you can only go right. But because we have three lanes or two lanes, if you're on the right lane, then you're allowed to turn right. But if you're on the left lane, you're only allowed to go straight. You cannot turn right. Yeah, that's what I said to already. High five. <laughs> Guys, I am laughing at my answer. No. What did you say? I said. I said. If you want to turn right, you got to do it now because there's no right turning in front. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, this is like real opportunity. Uh, probably. Come on, Ed. You got this. Ed. I'm going to say roundabout ahead. You go round and round and round and round. 
Because you said it is sort of a warning priority sign, it's kind of telling us that there's a roundabout up ahead. But why would it be priority? That, uh, right? that, that means we kind of have to like basically give way to... You know what, Anne? I'm just gonna stick to my answer. Here we go! Okay, so it's not really easy lah guys. <laughs> it basically means it's a roundabout up ahead. And if you're getting too close to the sign, which means you've got three exits. You either have to take the left, the middle, or the right. So it's basically going to say it's a roundabout with three exits. Take your choice. Then. You know what? It's so gr great. It's like, I look forward to Biggie's answer because if he says my answer, I'm like, okay, I got this one right. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, guys. Uh, I, I don't know this one. I'm going to say... I'm going to say that the road is going to be a circle. <laughs> <laughs> like no matter what happens, it's gonna be in a circle. You're gonna like turn until you get to like wherever it is that you wanna go. Because yeah, that's how the highway was built. I don't know. I generally don't know what that's fun, so. <laughs> Okay, so this one means that there's a roundabout approaching and you have to give priority to, and it the, the arrows that are pointed there is showing you the direction of traffic, which is clockwise. So you have to give priority to the cars around in the roundabout and then only you can must so. Oh my gosh, what is this? What? Wow. Face. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Oh my god, my English is so bad now. Okay, the lanes are merging into as in it's spreading out. That's why it's from the, the teeny part of the triangle up to the big part of the triangle. And then you can go straight. Definitely a warning sign because of the color. The triangle is orange and white. It indicates a hazard because that's usually hazard colors. There's going to be a hazard up front. Okay, honestly, I've never seen the signboard ever in my life. I don't even know if I saw it during my JPJ exam. But from what I can see is that triangle is usually a thing that you put when your car breaks down. So you have to like put it out and put it right behind your car, right? So I'm assuming uh, the signboard is put up either at accident-prone areas or places where uh, your, if your car breaks down, you can slow down in this area and you can stop. It's a safe area for you to stop your car. Okay, I genuinely don't know this, but I'm going to say it's it's about to tell you that you're going to enter a huge highway with so many lanes from like all different lanes merging to one. So like, I'm going to say that. Okay, I think this one is to let you know that there's going to be a warning sign up ahead. Oh my gosh! Um, okay, I want to say you cannot enter but I feel that there's another sign for no entry. So... I'm just going to say something along those lines. Yeah, like, cannot enter, don't, just don't. I feel like maybe no parking here because, I don't know, ah... Contrary to popular belief, people will think this is a no-entry sign, but to be honest, this is a no-parking sign. Oh, don't, don't scream yet! Don't scream yet! Don't scream yet! We're not done with this, okay? Okay, um, this is my logic, okay? Because okay, usually blue here. signs are for parking, right? Because the P is always on a blue sign. So I'm gonna say, this means cannot wait here. Like, you cannot wait here. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh my god, this is something that Illy would put in her room because her room is blue. <laughs> um, I think this is a sign... God, where have I seen this before? It's like, yeah. you're not allowed to enter this road unless you're unless you're authorized personnel. Oh, man, that's good. Okay, that's that's good. That's good, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Did we not have fun for this one's yeah, uh, yeah. fly versus internet? Pretty fun, right? Yeah, like how many signs okay. How many signs did we get to know today? Thanks for that, guys. Uh, yeah, definitely. So look, if you want us to take on any other internet challenges, don't forget to comment below. And we are going to catch you in the next fly versus the internet. Woo! This has been Dan and BKRD and Ely. Fly versus the internet. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Fly versus the internet on YouTube. Fly TV.